Welcome to Belarus, the land of pure white beauty, as its name literally suggests. The country is situated in the heart of Europe and is the absolute mean of all roads from east to west. Its far and large territory, untouched by human hands, truly makes it one of the very few places on earth which still flows hand in glove with nature. Belarus is a landlocked country in the region traditionally called the Eastern Europe, bordering Russia to the east, Ukraine to the south, Poland to the west and Lithuania and Latvia to the north. Its capital is Minsk and its major cities include Brest, Grodna, Gomel, Megilyov and Vitebsk. The territory of Belarus is 207,000 square kilometers with a population of 10.2 million of which 70% are urban. Administratively, Belarus is divided into six regions or states, the official languages being Belarusian and Russian, although languages like English, Poland and German are also quite popular. As we move on to the northwestern provinces, we are heartily greeted by the most beautiful and the greenest city of Belarus, Grodna, located on the banks of the river Neumann, which adds only to its rich heritage. Besides its natural beauty, the city bears immense cultural importance, for which it is often referred to as the historical city of Belarus. Dating back to the 12th century, where it is first mentioned in the chronicles of the Grand Duchy of Latvia. The city is extremely well planned in a very European manner, with scattered chunks of antique and exquisite architectures from the period of Renaissance and the Polish Saxons. Although the city's frame and architecture quite heavily suffered from the rage of the Second World War, its essence goes on to pride its inhabitants. The city is located near the border of Poland and Lithuania. It has one of the largest concentrations of Roman Catholics in Belarus. It is also a center of Polish culture, with the majority of Poles living in Belarus, residing in the city and its surroundings. Apart from its rich history, the city is moderately equipped with calm stony streets, wide green parks, little roadside cafes in a very traditional European style and exquisite restaurants. Grodno's climate is quite spontaneous, seasonal and rather interesting, with wet, cold, snowing winters, dry autumns, pleasant blooming springs and warm summers in the month of July. Grodno is also known as the city of youth, as it is the home to seven large universities from which around 5,000 specialists graduate every year. One such university is the Grodno State Medical University.
The Grodno State Medical University was founded in the year 1958. It has been one of the leading medical institutions in the Republic of Belarus. It is famous for its great educational basis, the highly qualified teaching staff and the rich traditions. At present, 50 doctors of medicines and professors, 108 assistant professors, 209 candidates of medicine are employed at the university. In 1992, the first foreign students began to study in the university and the decision to organize the Faculty of Foreign Students was reached on the 1st of June 1995. The university collaborates with the medical institutions of Poland, Germany, Russia, the United States, Great Britain, Lithuania and many others. More than 300 foreign students from 26 different countries such as India, Lebanon, Pakistan, Poland, Greece, Lithuania, Armenia, Tunisia, Morocco, Egypt, Cameroon, Jordan, Mauritius, Sri Lanka, etc. are studying in the Grodno State Medical University today. The Grodno State Medical University is a historical successor of the Grodno Medical Academy from 1775 to 1781. Although the university offers over four faculties consisting of general medicine, medical psychology, pediatrics, medical diagnostics and preparatory courses, however, as all foreign students come under a special faculty, they generally prefer the faculty of general medicine for its genuine versatility. Secondly, as a matter of utter pride, this institution, as of today, happens to be the only university in this country to provide the entire graduation program not only in Russian but also in English. With the assistance of our multilinguistic, highly trained and qualified professional teachers, all the yearly examinations and credit, credit tests up to the graduation are conducted in English, including the government examinations that are held at the end of the final year of graduation. Also, it is only rightful to say that the teaching quality or procedure does not lag behind in any aspect from any other university offering the same graduation programs anywhere around the globe. The university pays much attention to educational process and consists of three libraries in different spheres. The libraries contain a large number of books and scientific journals in all branches of knowledge, both in Russian and in foreign languages, but mostly concentrated in the field of medicine. The university library also provides its students with two comfortable reading rooms, catalog room and an informatic center equipped with high-speed internet where the students may attain free access to all world information sources. The students can work at the informatic center with personal computers also provided with high-speed Wi-Fi access.
The university consists of 15 large and comfortable lecture halls where each lecture is illustrated with the help of multimedia and the students do not have to jot every word of the lecturer as all the materials are available in electronic as well as in printed variants. In the first three years of the educational process, the students not only go through all preclinical subjects like physiology, anatomy, histology, etc. thoroughly, but are also rigorously trained in the Russian language, as Belarus is predominantly a Russian-speaking country and in due course this knowledge of a foreign language results to be a boon in their clinical period when the students begin their assessment in practical skills in the local hospitals. Минская, Гродненская, Витебск, Брестская, Могилевская, Гомельская. Столица, столица Белоруссии, город Минск. The Grotenstedt Medical University boasts of its wide sphere of specialized corpuses and clinical hospitals in diverse fields of medicine. At this moment, the university prides of 53 specialized departments and 7 clinical hospitals.
the seventh semester onwards, the students no longer just attend lectures and theoretical sessions, but simultaneously attain all necessary practical skills and acquire valuable clinical experience working by side professional specialists as assistants. Understood as a cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Uh, in uh, Russian, we also had brain resuscitation, cardiopulmonary and brain resuscitation, because uh, the main concern is to restore the function of the brain, because clinical death and biological death, the difference between them is the ability of brain cortex to survive death. And this period is only five to seven minutes uh, of hypoxia, and after seven minutes, normally brain cortex is dying. The alien bodies of the patients out of the patient's throat, then <coughs> making the airway straight. How it is uh, made? First of all, you have to lift the patient's mandible and open the, open the patient's mouth. So how it is made? You put your left hand on the patient's head and with the right hand. Specialist, <clears throat> they do not require much attention if everything is changing constantly. So, with every heartbeat of the patient, the digits are changing. How it is working? the patient's blood and this blood can be used for reinfusion. If we see anemia, severe anemia, after the operation we can make reinfusion of the blood for this patient. It is a special technique. It can be used in different categories of surgery, but in cardiac surgery there is a large bleeding. That is why they use those so-called cardiopathies. Apart from the patient-oriented practices, the students essentially and actively take part in all specialized high-tech diagnostic procedures like ultrasonograms, CT, MRIs, etc., which proves to be extremely beneficial for the student's understanding and his or her clinical base. hospital is not only stuffed with extremely qualified med personals but are also heavily equipped with state-of-the-art biochemical test equipments, CT and MRI scanning machines and preferred optical diagnostic instruments.
university also owns four exquisite museums for its students as well as guests. Three of them exhibit unique clinical, anatomical, biological and neonatal phenomena and their anomalies in a manner in which is quite different from our usual day-to-day -day assumptions. The fourth museum is solely dedicated to art, culture, tradition and history not only of this country but also elaborately many others around the globe. The students of the Grodno State Medical University are not only involved in the academic sessions but also take great initiatives in social lives and extracurriculum activities. The students regularly and actively participate in all university social events and also go on to celebrate their vernacular festivals like Diwali, Durga Puja, Navratri, Eid and many others with great enthusiasm. The spacious canteen situated in the main building of the university makes it extremely convenient for students and staff to skip a minute from the heavy schedule and relax while enjoying delicious cuisines or just a cup of tea. The university owns four different hostels exclusively for its students. Every foreign student arriving is immediately accommodated in one of these facilities depending on its availability. And it, and it must be mentioned that these facilities are not just four walls but are conveniently cozy, equipped with centrally heated, well furnished rooms, 24 by 7, warm and cold water lavatories, spacious kitchens and foremostly extremely well secured with round the clock monitoring. Hello friends, now we have with us the Vice Dean of the International Student Faculty, Dr. Sivchuk Dimitri Valerievich. Наш 
университет это один из старейших вузов нашей республики и на сегодняшний день готовит специалистов по самым разным специальностям в медицине это не только врачи общей практики это и медицинские сестры с высшим образованием это медико психологи в том числе и в течение уже нескольких ну по крайней мере наверное 15 20 лет мы занимаемся работой с иностранными студентами. На сегодняшний день 13 выпуск у нас уже иностранных студентов вот намечается буквально в ближайшее время. В том числе вот Буржар – это представитель как раз индийских студентов, которые будут выпускаться в этом году. Я думаю, что он тоже какую-то информацию вам предоставит о возможности обучения в нашем университете. Ну, наш университет обладает большими клиническими базами, которые вы могли увидеть. Мы постарались вам показать, что э, возможно. Конечно, это только небольшая часть из того. Э, для того, чтобы узнать э, больше, пожалуйста, приезжайте к нам. Это совсем, совсем просто. Мы всех вас ждем. Спасибо. Now we have with us the Dean of the International Student Faculty, Dr. Plosky Andrei Ramanovich. Hello, sir. Uh, sir, good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Sir, would you be so kind to say a few words about uh, our university? Yes, our university, uh, first of all, it was institute, medical institute, was founded in the 19... Um, and uh, we have uh, foreign students uh, since 1992 but our faculty was opened first in 1995. Uh, today we have uh, about 400 students from many countries for example from India, Mauritius, uh, Sri Lanka, Turkmenistan, Pakistan, Syria and uh, in our university uh, have uh, big uh, links and collaborates with other universities from Poland, Russia, Germany, and uh, the United States of America. Mm -hmm. uh, so could you please uh, brief us a little about the uh, education process here in, the, in this university, in our university? Uh, the matter is the students have uh, both lectures and practical classes. And since uh, 30 years of studying, they begin um, clinical disciplines in hospital. In hospital, and decided, and decided, they can take part uh, or participate in the work of uh, scientist society of students, practically in every department of our university. Exactly. In what different faculty and languages do you offer these courses? of education to foreign students? Uh, foreign students uh, start uh, studying on preparatory courses and in general medicine. In general medicine. But uh, it has possibility to study on pediatric, psychological, mm -hmm. uh, but um, practically all students prefer general medicine. And they have possibility in both Russian and English languages in studies since first till six courses. So, um, is it true that apart from the teaching, students uh, are provide, uh, provided with uh, study material and lectures also in English language? Yeah, our uh, all, practically all uh, lectures, uh, our teachers uh, give the students possibility on language, uh, English, English language. English language. And besides, in our um, library, uh, we have uh, a plenty of textbooks, English textbooks, and as well as uh, books that provided of our teachers, our professors. Um, how do you get the level of the teaching in this university compared to the, any other uh, university elsewhere? It was difficult to compare in any case, uh, but uh, our professors or assistant of professors uh, have a big experience because some of them uh, were abroad, they have practiced in, in other countries, 
And as I said, we have uh, plenty of textbooks and lectures in any languages. And I think that um, the level of our teaching uh, one of the best in the Belarusian, in the Belarus, or even in some European universities. Uh, how would you like to sum up a uh, student's recommendation and his or her uh, overall stay here in Grodno? Every student, uh, after arrival uh, in our university, uh, have a possibility to live in the hostel. It's rather comfortable hostel. And besides, I should say that Rodna is a very ancient town, a very ancient town with an interesting history. Uh, there are wonderful combination of modern parts of town and ancient parts. Uh, we have um, castle, uh, castle, royal castle, I would say, and many bridge over the river, Neman the Great, Great River. And that's why the students have possibility to have possibility not only learn but also rest after that. But then, perfect. Uh, lastly, sir, uh, could you please share a few words with our student and their guardians? Uh, we would like to see uh, uh, the young men in our university. Welcome to us. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Over 2,500 students graduate every year from this prestigious university. After graduation from this university, the graduates are granted international diplomas and are conferred the title of, the, of Doctor of Medicine. The degrees awarded by the GSMU are recognized by the World Health Organization, Educational Commission of Foreign Medical Graduates in Philadelphia, and Medical Council of India, Lithuania, Lithuanian Center of Quality Assessment in Higher Education, and many others, where they go on to spread the light of this great institution.